Um, y'all just bear with me for a few seconds. So I can. Um, what can I start at? Um, about, I say what, 2018, January 26th, y'all know the y'all know the story and I might correct, right? What I want to kind of share with y'all is, is some things that that's happened after that and how being in this ministry has helped transform my mentality, okay? And I talked about a lot about, you know, a, a few things that that, 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 that was good to me. And the main thing is understand what Pastor Burr has been ministering across the pulpit to all of us in his ministry and how some of us grabbed hold of it and some of us have not grabbed hold to it. Uh, like when he mentioned, mentioned a couple weeks ago about some of us, was pl- uh, us playing with God as far as not being all the way sold out to God. And you get challenged a lot of times in, in, your, in, in this walk to see what's really real or not. Um, so, so I thank him for that and I thank him for, for, for the growth in, in everybody's ministry as far as how we, we, we've, uh, we've grown and, and thus far. I'm going to talk about this a little bit, but I'm going to talk about relationships as well. I'm going to talk about discipline. I'm going to talk about a few things. That's been near near me as far as what's helped me during this road as well. Because you talk to you look at like a guy who, who who never thought about being saved at all years ago. Uh, never been thought about being a deacon or being an elder, or being anything, anything in the ministry whatsoever. And uh, and the story starts back when I, when I met Pastor a long time ago. I was in the car business, and uh, my whole life was about the car business and about being this being this, this ministry. Um, and a few things that that, that, I, that I skipped along the way that I'm talking to y'all tonight that, that that's helped me try, kind of transform my lifestyle. Amen? Uh, just one, if you don't mind going to Proverbs 28, 19 real quick. And uh, it, I know when it was not about business, but it's about the fundamentals of growing seeds and growing a harvest, which we are, the, we've been planting in this ministry. We are the seeds, right? You got this one? Proverbs 28, 19. One thing I can encourage y'all to do is, is to, to, to work y'all land. You know what that means? Work y'all land. Because a lot of times we don't work our land. Like in this prophetic niche right here, Apostle, uh, y'all watch him today, and him and uh, Brother T and uh, Miss Robinson uh, sh- some videos online about them detailing cars. But he, got, he got all kind of land. He got the ministry land. He got the detail land. He got saving souls land. He got getting you connected to God. He got all kind of land, right? But he worked all his land, right? But most times, most times in the ministry, uh, sometimes ourselves, we don't we don't work our land, right? It took me took me to listen to him and, and hear to what he had told me a long time ago. Is one thing that'll keep me in the second in command. One thing that'll keep that'll keep you to repent. It's not going to keep you to, to, to pray God with your work. It's going to keep you to do these, these kind of things. But what, what I didn't do is, it took me a while to understand that. Because most of the time, we don't know what our like father really are. And it's hard for us to be put and listen to someone who's a, another man when you're a grown man. And it, even a grown woman. Amen? You got that? I got my glasses. You got that power of 20 and 19? All right. So, you know, it's, it's about King Solomon. You know, I, I say he, he was one of the wise men in the, the kingdom until, until, uh, until Jesus came along. Okay? But he says, he who works his land will have abundant food, but the one who chases fantasies will have his fill with poverty. And what that basically means is filling a land with the wrong thoughts. And part of what the land is, is your mentality. Part of the land is, is, is your heart, your heart mindset. Pastor talked about a lot, talk, talk a lot about um, our mentality, our, our, our mindset, and connecting, connecting this whole, this whole, this whole. I think this whole entire week's gonna be about doing the mindset. Last night, kind of broke it open last night. I mean, broke the heavens open for me last night. I'm out listening to the word all the way home last night. Listen all the way, all the way on, all the way to the church today as well. But but it's it's it's, it's breaking our old mindset as far as how we think. And a lot of times. Amen. A lot of times, the enemy comes to fight us in our, in our thinking pattern. You see what I'm saying? And it happens a lot. It happens a lot in me and my, in my life as well. Okay? I'm pretty sure y'all are, are, are known. But what, what's the benefit of it is, is, if I didn't have the honor, which goes back to the first thing, honor Apostle Murray, I wouldn't listen to everything he, that comes out of his mouth. A lot of us can say we, we listen to everything that comes out of his mouth, 
But when time for us to, for, for us to show, we'll, we'll back up or we won't come to the ministry or we'll stay away for a while. One thing he's trying to preach to us right now, one thing I've gathered in, in these last last few few uh, years, is being connected to the Father. Okay? Doesn't mean he's a natural father, but it means it's a, it's a father that has something that I don't have. Right? Something we don't have as well. And part of what we don't have is having the knowledge, the right mindset, the right knowledge when something happens. How do we change our mentalities when, when something attacks us? What do we go to? Amen? And if you don't, if you don't say who the father is, the one that's sent, guess what? But go back to honor in the first place. You don't, you, you cannot, you have a problem listening to what he's saying. To live to your life. Amen? Now, if I'm, if I'm born, y'all, let me know if I'm born, y'all. I'm gonna try to, I'm gonna try to get y'all to laugh if I can. Um, but it's, it's different. Hey, listen, man, it's, it's, listen, this is a new building right here. This is a new building. Yes, sir. Like, put on new, new clothes. This, this is all new to me. Yes, sir. Okay? Yes, sir. Don't, listen, don't get it twisted. This, this is new to me. Okay? I'm a guest speaker. Just don't throw that at me. Um, another thing I'm going to talk about is the sermon. Okay? What pastors train all of us on, including myself, I say myself, is to build certain things around you. And when I go back to when he said that Brother James don't treat being second command. You know, one of my, one of my, one of my things I want to do in the, in the car business, and I still want to do it in the car business, I'm still going to do it, it's become an owner of a dealership, right? To do things for the kingdom in the auto industry, right? But I had to go through some small stuff first, you know, being a salesperson, being a finance manager, being a guy at the desk, being a GSM, GSM which I am right now. But I went to move my feet a few years ago when I was at Stone Crest Honda, what now it's called you know, Stone Crest Honda, it was called Honda Condens. Because I didn't really want to listen to another man when I had the same knowledge, I thought I had the same knowledge he had. But if I didn't hear, hear a small, still voice when Pastor Mark said, it's okay to be in second command and don't move your feet to God to move your feet. Okay? And a lot of times we miss our blessing by moving our feet too quick, right? What, what he's trying to establish in his kingdom and in his new ministry is, 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 is the prophetic ministry, being prophetic, being, being to see things before things happen and have the right thing around you, guarding you, which is in a safe place, which is a safe heaven, which is called the Holy Spirit. Okay? Amen? So let me give you Do you know what the discernment is? Discernment? Let me give it to y'all real quick. Discernment. Perception in the absence of judgment with a view to obtain a spiritual direction and understanding. Basically, that means that he can figure things out before we get to it. A lot of times, Pastor Moore figures stuff out before we get to it. And we'll be trying to figure out how in the world this man figure this out before we. We don't, we don't have a clue how he figures this thing out. It's part of what he does when he says he's still up in the word all the time. When he says to the Father all the time. A lot, of, a lot of times we're not. So when he said that, when he started saying off last, last night and, and got him to our spirit, got him to my spirit, one thing I, I, I realized is that, and I, told, I, called, I called him told him on the phone a couple of days ago, is man, I, I want that same kind of notion you got. Simple as that. Pastor Zell got it. Or he getting it. But he, he getting it. Some of us are already got it already, but what, what I'm saying, the, the notion he got is that to be able to see past where you get there and make the right decision led by the Holy Ghost. Amen? That's why it's okay. That's, how, that's why it's okay. That's why it's not it's not mandated, but it's okay for us to be sitting up with somebody who cares about our souls, not by what we have, how much money we give them. Amen? I think a lot of times we think that, I think that money, I don't want to go, I don't want to, I'm going to just do what the Lord tell me to do, but I'm not going to go around the place. But a lot of times we call up into money and what money really can do. Sometimes money can do everything they need to get done. Okay? Money is a tool that we need. But it can't get the, it can't, it can't get the things done from internal. Okay? It can't get, it can't get things that done that's internal type of spirit. It can't, it can't transform things in your spirit that needs done by the word of God. Amen? And I said, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna try not, I'm gonna try not, not to toss around and go around in the room. Man, this place is, it's, it's kind of big in here, man. I'm like, man, I'm used to that small church. Y'all are one six. Now y'all all over the place like I'm a cathedral or whatnot. Um, but man, listen, I, 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 I'm, I'm trying to not to, uh, to rush the Holy Ghost. So I'm gonna talk about this one. Real quick. In this walk, man, this has been tough. 
if you don't trust God. Okay? It's been tough. Even if you trust God, it's still been tough. But being more, being disciplined enough to hear the word is not tough. Right? Being disciplined gives you a clear vision of being disciplined. Right? Being, being on protocol keeps you keeps line on precept on precept. Here a little, there a little. Okay? That keeps you in line. Most of us don't like being disciplined. And discipline doesn't mean somebody's going to hook you with a, with a belt or a switch like I, like I grew up and I got hooked all the time, man. Good reason about everything, about switch, switches and everything. But another no thing is, but what I'm, what I'm saying is, the word discipline in the kingdom of God is not a bad word. It really isn't. Let me give you this, this, this one real quick. If I, if I can get my, my notes here. Man. Mm-mm-mm. Thank you, um, Auntie. You know, I'm, I'm trying. I'm trying not to rush, but I'm going to tell you about discipline. Y'all ready for discipline? Must be, must can be a vehicle used to drive you toward the attainment of a financial objective, a clear vision, consistent well-being based on goals and objective in the future. Okay. I mean, I, I, I probably shouldn't even bought these notes, to be honest with you. I probably just start talking this and, and not even using notes. Because I know that I'm just, I'm a free, I'm a, just a free speaker and just to talk a lot at work. This ain't at work right here. God doesn't work right now. Um, but be honest with you, though, having discipline man, and, and, and being in this ministry for these many years and understanding what we have to go through to get to the next level, sometimes we crack under pressure and sometimes we we fall back. Sometimes the pastor, I kept listening to him saying that, don't be isolated in a corner. I heard this, this last night, I heard again today as well when I was driving up here. And sometimes, even being an elder, you can be isolated. Right? Because a lot of things attack you, whether it be an elder, deacon, or just being a, somebody going to church. And you don't know how to handle that, but you also don't have the right discipline to handle as well. And part of being disciplined is calling the right people. Probably just going to call the man of God that's been, that's been sent to get his get some, get some, get some direct from him, right? Or call somebody to the ministry, like Bishop, Elder Dennison, Sister Dennison, Mel Murray. Part of what we don't do, like call different, we don't call other people that have the anointing as well in the ministry. That's the ministry that last night, like sometimes you come to church, you want, want, about, want him to pray for everybody. Sometimes. It's okay for about it in the ministry who got the anointing to pray for other people as well. Okay? That's part of being disciplined. Okay? Alright. So, you know, it, I'm, I'm going to flip the business real quick. I'm going to try to go back and forth. And when the world will leave me, go, I'm going to go. But who, who, here, who, are the, 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 who in here want to be prosperous this year? Really? Prosperous this year. Let me say it slowly. Prosperous this year. So, part of it is being disciplined. Right? Like we said, my, my wife, me and wife started this, this beauty salon, and you know, I, I beauty salon. I'm sorry, beauty, beauty store. I can't say salon. It's like you get, you get, you get wigs done and whatnot. She did sell wigs. Um, but starting small, man, and I'm a, I'm crazy. Starting small was something that I, that she I want us to do. And the last time I asked her, how many customers you had today? She said I had maybe one customer, or two customers, or three customers, or zero customers. And I'm like, Lord, good gracious, man, we, we, we got this building open and there ain't, ain't nothing really coming yet. And then I hear a small voice as well, my possible Murray. It's okay to start small. Okay. Let me teach you what, let me show you what, let me show what small does for you, real quick. Okay. When we start small, we learn to develop discipline. Okay. Starting, starting small develops reliance on who? Reliance on God. Okay. You know what the reliance is? You want me to tell you what reliance is? You know what reliance is, right? We all rely on somebody. Like, yeah, sometimes we rely on somebody give us some check or whatever. And if the check don't come, we get mad. Then we get too over on that, that check. Okay? Amen? All right, so you know, one, one thing it teaches us is self-control. Like self-control. Like, brother, see, when he cut, he cut grass, when I'm giving example, examples and flowers while they ain't here because everybody doing, everybody's got their own thing going on. But it's part of the kingdom. To move, to move the kingdom, it's going to be everybody in the ministry to do it, right? Not the first person I get about to understand right now, okay? But part of what, what, I, what I'm, I'm called here to do is, is talk about 
relationship as well, but also about a business as well. Not too much about money, because money is basically some sort of reward you get for doing what you're supposed to do in the first place. Okay? But in your business, start small, right? And become a discipline, right? And then learn to self control. All these things help you out. I mean, everybody, everybody who got testimonies about their jobs, about what, what, what kind of blessing they got, and it started from a seed. You know, Chris Taylor with her, with her job that she's got now. You know, Chris Turner with the make the, the makeup for all the, all the women in the ministry. Those things are seeds that, that start off small, that can become big. You understand? Know become huge, real big. The right person thinks about the right makeup on. I was going to call Chris Turner while she at work, and she worked for a, 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 a lawyer, and he said, Can I speak to Miss Tanya, please? Well, this is Miss Tanya. You know, I, got, I got a contract for you here because I've seen it make you done for, you know, for one of the ladies in the ministry. It starts like that. It's called starting small. Okay? Amen? Everybody's okay? Am I, am I boring y'all right now? I'm going to try to laugh, make you laugh for a few minutes if I can. Y'all don't say that twice over there. Y'all don't laugh yet. Um, but this is, all, this is serious. So this, this is, this, I, want, I want to not be too serious. Come on, tell me all the time, you always too serious. So I'm trying to, I'm trying to, I'm trying to be loose a little bit. If I can, sometimes it's kind of tough to be loose. Um, but anyway, I'm gonna start here, start here again. By starting small, we learn one more thing as well: thankfulness, being thankful. Um, and when I say if you can't be thankful in small things, it's more hard to be thankful when something's big. It really is. Oh, the old minister we had when it was the the the, 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 the ceiling was falling down. Y'all remember that? Was coming in, and we were, we were thankful then. And then also when we, we start doing construction on the ministry, the old ministry, we we're thankful then. I got blessings then, and then all of a sudden we go over here, <laughs> this big old place here. Now people don't act up when you're over here. It's all brand new. You see what I'm saying? That's what happens when if you're not thankful in the in the beginning, you don't have to be thankful in the end, right? Right? And we just get started. Amen. I told you I get to laugh with my dog. All right. The main, point, my main topic here is going to be about this over here. It's relationship. This is the main one. This is it right here. My, uh, my saints and my compadres is relationship. Um, and it starts relationship with God first. You know, I'm going to talk about, I'm going to talk about four things about investment at the very end. But the first thing I'm going to talk about, I'm going to go back to that as well. Is having a relationship with God first. That's your first investment. Okay? It ain't about money. Your first real investment to make in the kingdom of God, in the prophetic ministry right we got now, right now, is investing in the word of God first. And that's from the word of truth. Amen? Y'all clap. Y'all, unless you're authorizing your hand, you can't clap. Oh, okay. Alright. So, Proverbs 21 you know, the plan of diligent leads to profit as truly as peace leads to poverty. Okay, y'all got heard the scripture for a lot. Do I need to read it again? Okay. Proverbs 21 5, the plans of the diligent leads to profit as surely as haste leads to poverty. Now, I said, I don't want to talk about business that much, but I have to talk about this because it's part of what the four, the four things is from the kingdom, right? Okay. And this is very simple. Diligence leads to profit. Right? If uh, Brother T and, and Miss Robert detail enough cars, it leads to profit. If Sister Jasmine detail enough cars, it leads to profit. If Sister Karen puts enough pictures and keep putting more pictures on the upside down on the shoulder blade, it leads to profit. Right? If Rachel sells enough wigs, enough mascara, enough African soap, enough anything, it leads to profit, right? If Pastor Oville goes from one store to one store to another store to another store and employs a whole bunch of people, it leads to profit, right? Right? If I if I talk to a lot of people, right, in the car business and become a GM or become a slash owner or partner, it leads to profit, right? All those things lead to profit for the kingdom, right? What we can't, what we can't miss is the first love, which is the kingdom of God first. That's the first thing we can't miss. Okay? The second part is going to be your, your families and whatnot, but the first part can't be the kingdom you without is the kingdom. Okay? Amen? Alright. 
we talk about goals a lot. I always talk about goals. Y'all hear say about, you know, but then you all talk about goals and this and that, you know. Uh, one goal is, is, is not about money. It's not about money. It's about being really, about, about really being saved. Okay? It's about really being saved. It's about really being filled with the Holy Ghost. That's one goal that I want. Okay? That's one goal I'm after. Okay? That's one goal we should be after is being filled with the Holy Ghost. Not about, about no profit, about no money. It's about, it's about being filled with the Holy Ghost. That should be a goal I got. Right? That's a goal I want to have. And what I'm saying is that the, the, to bring the Holy Spirit on at, at, at any moment that something t- attacks me, attacks my mentality, attacks my family, to be able to speak something that, that, that quickly and resound because of what I came from the Holy Ghost. Amen? That's the goal I'm after, right? So we get y'all with that. You know, I got a little serious. Y'all got to start looking you know, back like me. Your brother ain't got kind of serious just now. He, 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 he kind of got serious on the real quick. But, yeah, but most times, when I'm talking, I'm talking about money, and so people kind of want to hear it. So now I'm going to talk about what really, what's really touching me is about changing the mentality about the love the of the relationship with God first. That's what I'm talking about here. Okay? So most time when I come in here, you know, he's talking money again. Listen, listen, I'm going to talk about money for people taking me off. I'm not a millionaire, right? Ever yet. But it don't make a difference if I can't move anything in my life. Seriously, you know what I'm saying that? So I'm trying to say that what, what I'm talking about now, what, but I, I am in 2022. This is the mentality right now, 2023 different than what 2021. And I think they attack me and my wife mentally and spiritually that we have to get the thing off. But the only way, only way we have to get done it, because the kingdom of God because of this ministry in it right here. Okay? So it's like a scripture. We don't have it all figured out. Okay? But I also want you to switch up on the fact to think about this money. But I will tell you the very end though, money is definitely needed. And it's definitely true. Amen? So I'm not going to let y'all slip by on that one. Okay? I'm gonna come back to that. Yeah, I'm coming back to that. But I'm gonna talk about this like first about getting my stuff right. What God's told us things to do that I've done that came from mentality. First of all, it's about having con- control of my, having self control. Oh, my anger. Right? I, mean, I come from, I come from a, sometimes angry background. You know, you know, I come from where, you know, we like to whoop kids a lot. You know, I came from, cause I whooped all the time. All the time. Like for just, I got whooped on cue. Like, we, my mom, my mom's saying, my, I know my mom probably watching me, that's why I think I'm saying I'm crazy. But I want my mom to work out in me. But I also learned this one to my mom as well. But I used to get a whooping on, 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 just on, just on, red, on the word go. She, she can co sign for the word whooping and the W and the S one, I, I got it. Because I was hard headed as a kid, right? Most of us are hard headed right now. Right? So that's what I miss sometimes we don't really want, we don't really want to hear it. We don't want to hear it. Like you said last night, some of them get, get, hear a word, then get up and leave. Myself sometimes included. Okay? But then I talk about, man, listen, the only thing that helped you this whole time is the word of God. Not your country itself. Amen? You ain't been doing nothing. Right? Nothing. I'm gonna get the relationship because because y'all know I y'all know I said I, I saw I stopped y'all saw me see I try to stop you can't stop the Holy Ghost. So back back there again back to the main thing we we'll talk about is the relationship with God for us. Then with the man of the hour, the set man, possible. I'm gonna get my I'm gonna get my coin later. Okay. But the real relationship with possible spiritually. It's transforming my mentality in my, in my whole, whole entire life, okay? The very relationship with my brother Ozell as well, from afar, because he works around, I went a while, I work up there, and we live, we live in Lowe's, we live, live in Macon. But hearing the words that's ministered behind the pool, behind what Pastor Burr's ministry, and then what he's trained, what he's trained Pastor Ozell to do, is, I don't call him Brother Ozell, I call him Pastor Ozell. And then my, my little brother, Brother T, I call him, I call him Deep Pastor. Deep Pastor Brother T. And so I watched the transformation in their lives, okay? Also changed my, my, in my life as well. To do things that we normally wouldn't do, because we got called out to be something that we, who we thought we were not in the first place. Does that make sense? Okay, that makes sense sometimes. If I'm not making sense, just raise your hand like you're in school and say, Mr. Mr. Allen, I didn't understand that question. Could you say it again, please? You see what I'm saying? So, so I want to make, want to make sure you understand that. Have a, the the relationship with Pastor Murray in the not the him as a as a man per se, but him being a spiritual father per se. Him being the, I call him the, a direct DSL to preach up 
to the word of God, to the Holy Ghost, right? That's a fact. I mean, I, I, I called this long time, I first met him a long time ago. I thought, man, this man, this man is, is, is WP. I'm not talking about one of them, I'm talking about, I'm talking about the walking Bible. You see what I'm saying? You know, most of them think WP like that one of them, you know, Bugs Bunny. I'm talking about, no, I'm talking about the walking Bible. This, I mean, this, this man can, this, this, he can why he wants to watch the car, he's in the car, and eating, eating a cheeseburger. Or eating some peanuts, driving, driving in Florida. Something like that. But what I'm saying to you is what, what, the things they've taught me before, relational, that's transformed my life. Now I go to my, now I go to my queen. I'm always talking about race. I'm always talking about race all the time. I'm always talking about race, right? Nothing probably tired of that. I don't get tired of it. Um, um, because if I didn't listen to what he told me a long time ago, when he said, don't lose your family. Now, I talked about this before, but I really didn't get really all the way into it. I think I need to go, I need, I think I need to go all the way down to it right now and just grab it right now. Because the last time I, every time I talked about it, I got so far that I stopped. I had to go all the way down to, so, to the court and show the, the meaning of what that transformed in my life. By a my wife. When I say I was a deacon in this kingdom, in this ministry, still cheating on my wife mentally was a problem. I'm going to mess y'all up right now because I told you I'm going to get a little deep right because I told you I'm going to play tonight. Okay, so I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get, you, I'm gonna get, so, because, because, you know, look, after something, so since the after something, since I, I was partaking of the something, so I guess now I'm gonna use me, you use me to get that, get that out. It depends about who that is in their mentality. I, it was the thing with me is, when, when I was not, not even always saved, like, even with the finances, I was so caught up in, caught up in, in, in finances, like, I didn't want to talk to my wife what I was even, what I making. Like, I, I was like, I, this is all I got. Like, a, like, you make know, like you lying. You got more than that. You know what I'm saying? You got more than that, right? But because I was so, I was so caught up, I was so caught up in, in, I was in tangible, green people, and not relational. It, it, it didn't allow me to open my Bible from pastor so I can trust my wife fully, right? Which leads to other stuff that's called you my friends as well. Somebody, I call Tick and I, call Tick and I, Tick and I fancy, you know, that's a, that's a word called Tick and I fancy. Um, to entertain other, other women mentality, basically what I thought I didn't have. But all the only I knew I had it was, listen to Pastor Murray, you know, y'all, some of y'all, y'all call him from Florida, Tink. I call him Apostle. My father in the spirit, uh, my daddy, um, on my other mama's side. Listen to what he told me some things transform mentality. You see what I'm saying? And this 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 new this new, I call it, it's not a new ministry, but it's, it's the prophetic ministry and, 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 and building a prophetic house is part of being really true with God. Be true with yourself. Right? Right? Hey, Amen. I mean you, you can clap for that. That's, that's it. I mean if I do I mean if I start dancing, y'all might clap a little bit. But let, I mean, here's the thing though. Not want to be real. Can you can, can you imagine just imagine being being somebody who's today and waiting for somebody, but won't, the only the only would be R E L, real, right? That makes sense. Now, when I say relational, the only thing I want to do when I man, when we first got together before, before I got all the way involved was be R E L. I don't want to do the whole relationship deal, right? I want to plan if I want to be want to be married. Right on the plan, I really, really was was fully all the way in because what happened was being somebody who who didn't have didn't understand what love is really about, right? Part of the thing love is really about the flesh by having sex and that kind of that's not really what love really is, right? It's really having a conversation with somebody when somebody's going through something. What can you do differently in the mindset of somebody led by the Holy Ghost to change that person's mentality, to change that person's heart, right? So, so that's, that, that's, so I, th I thank God for that. I thank God for, 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 for doing that in my life and transform that part. But I, but I could have never done it if I didn't believe in the, the man I was sent. And a lot of times we really don't believe in the person that was sent because we think we sent. We ain't sent nowhere. We ain't done nothing. It can't be, it can't be one, it can't be one, one, one leader, right? It can't be one, one leader, right? Right? But what he can train us is, like you mentioned last time, I heard this again while I was on the way with it up here. Is training disciples, which that's what we are. That's my, that's why I am, right? 
So you can't be a leader. You can't be smarter than a leader because we ain't. We can't do it, right? But what I'm saying is, to get, for me to get, be in a relationship about my wife, right? It opened up a lot of stuff, man. Like, I had to learn how to communicate a lot better. Like, like she's seen me, she's seen me at, listen, at the crazy time going through pure hell, right? And if I did listen to the man that was sick first, it couldn't it wouldn't have changed my life at all. I would have left my wife a long time ago for some nonsense, right? Left the ministry for some nonsense. That was it. It has nothing to do with relationship whatsoever. Part of the kingdom of God was about building relationships. That's what it was about. The other stuff that we do after building relationships, it was going to happen after that, right? That's what happened after that. You can't be silent in nothing, like, like you mentioned last night. What you do is find something that's silent. I don't think I've seen silent thus far in the kingdom of God, the guy who, who did in his ministry, Pops of Earth. And all of those disciples behind him. That's something that's silent I've seen, right? Now I got a mom and dad, I got love them too much. I mean, they, they're very solid. They're real solid. They got great, they got great work, work ethics. I promise you. My mama will work until she's 95 years old. Okay? And my dad will as well. But I'm talking about something spiritually. Okay? To change my mind, to change my heart, right? And part of changing my heart was, was me changing my mentality first. To be relational, to develop a relationship with my wife and other people as well. Holy Ghost be a relationship with other people. Not love relationship with other people. We get that part. We get it. We get y'all. We on Facebook. We live. Get that right for real. Okay. All right. Make sure we don't say it's, 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 no games with that. Okay. I mean, I don't play any kind of games with that. Now, I used to, I used to play games with that years ago. Mm-mm. When I had a conversation, when I was sitting down eating at the uh, Mama's Pan- Pancakes Breakfast, I remember this. I was Saturday morning. I had uh, about three serves. And I couldn't even eat it. I cut it all the way up and touched it. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Don't lose your family. That's all I said. Man, what kind of... I call that the black power. Man, that's all I said. I said, that's it. That's... That's all he told me. Man, so I'm going to work. I'm going to work. I'm going to work crying and whatnot. That's all he gave me. He said that and that was it. What about you? No, that was, no, that's all you. That's, I'm driving. I mean, that's they told me, don't lose your family. That's it. And I'm driving. Black Bible, right there. So what I'm saying is, but, 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 it, but it took me to that, that small, I say small, that small thing that start transforming mentality. And it didn't, it didn't, it didn't work all the way that, all, that, that quick either. Cause I had to come back to the church and get prayed for again, have brother to all with the kingdom. What you gonna do now, nigga? Everything's all me. So, so I'm, so I'm good with that. Y'all just spend up, just spend coming to you one way. All the way. I mean, if you don't play with it, okay? Pastor, Pastor, Lee, Pastor Lee, I'm real clean, but I'm still not the judge, but I'm still not the judge. I'm still not the So what I'm saying is, when she told me, when I got to the point, I thought I was crying or not, that's interesting. I still had some other stuff in my mentality that I thought that I had to get out. All I had to get out was get out of sin. That was it. Right? That was it. Brother James, get out of sin. Okay? Brother James, get out of sin. The other James, not in sin. Brother James was in sin. Right? But it took all of that, man. January 26, 2018. You know, I, the last year or something, don't just go up, go, mix it, go do all stuff. But then that Lord sent me back to January 26, 2018, a few, a few, about a couple weeks ago. And then I took, I took a picture, I put on my iPad, and looked at how I looked inside the, inside that bed. And I thought about, what, what, what would happen about if Lord and sleep be fit to be here still? Which I'm glad I'm still here. But it only happened because I had a relationship with God, but also I had a relationship with the man who sent first. Right? Then I had a relationship with my queen after that. Okay? For the ones that, for the ones that think that it's, that it's okay, that it's okay not to keep, that's just them. I was just talking about you. Um, the one that thinks it's okay not to have a relationship with God, the pretty good thing else, I can tell you right now, I can, I can hear the right now and tell you that you're sadly mistaken. Nothing can go right. Now, you may go right if you're not saved. 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 You don't be saved. We call them, I call them an outcast. 
Okay? But it's still people. It's okay, it's okay to be cold. Okay? It's okay to be cold. But if you don't have a relationship with God, it, it will mess you up. It will mess you up, I promise you. Because you be tossed to and fro all the time. All the time tossed to and fro because you don't know who to talk to. See what I'm saying? A lot of people have friends that are, that are not saved but the desire to be saved. And the reason they, they can't be saved is they don't want to trust anybody and they also don't want to have what's called a relationship as well. When I made a comment about being R.E.L., that was real to me. I don't want to have a relationship. I don't want to open my, my, open my heart to nobody else at all because, you know, a lot of times you can be hurt. Be a big guy, you know, um, or someone who thought he was bad, big and bad, don't like to be hurt, right? But sometimes it takes somebody to crack up like, a, like, a, like an eggshell to get inside your heart, right? Yes. And it won't only happen until you learn how to build a relationship with God first, right? But to, but to build a relationship with God first, you have to trust a man that's been sick first. You go to church and church and all the church, you go, we call it church, church hopping. Church hopping. You go to any church you want to, right? But until you meet somebody who's going to challenge you, okay, and change your mentality, you won't get delivered at all. You may still go to church. But you don't get delivered at all. Amen? You don't get delivered. Because what, what I'm saying is, it took all of that for my... Well, I had hair. I had hair. I don't have hair now, but I had hair at that time. When I met Pastor Murray. It took all of that going through, you know, talking to me, you know. Brothers and you, 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 you missed what I was talking about, you, the black cover a little while ago. Uh, but it took all of that to get me to, to really trust somebody else besides myself. Because a lot of times we, 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 we don't stand that. We think we trust ourselves, right? Yeah. Y'all can, can be honest. Y'all try, try to trust yourself as well. Until all hell breaks loose. Yeah. Do you got to trust somebody else then? I've been there before. Been there before. I've been there before. More than one time, right? Um, and then being on my back in January 26, man, it's, it's, it's um, I can do nothing, right? Can do nothing at all. Couldn't even couldn't even sleep. Right? So it's not a day I don't go by appreciating appreciating me to sign and stop what I was doing as a fleshy man to hear what the word of God said from another man. Make sense? Make sense? You know what I'm gonna start doing? You know, I'm gonna start bringing bringing everybody here past morning. Like some I don't know, like their favorite snack or something like that. To get them to start clapping. Hey, cousin, listen. This is, this, I'm being honest with you. Listen, this is, I'm being honest with you. I'm going to try to This right here is, 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 is not even tonight, right? It's not even tonight. Um, God, I'll still go hit me at one time, right? But if I don't trust God like I do right now, and trust the man to the sin. I can be standing right here tonight. I promise you couldn't be up here. I promise you. Uh, I promise you I, I wouldn't be up here tonight at all, remotely. Um, but one thing, one thing I kept looking over this message, all the people that I've heard in the last couple of weeks, is uh, being diligent in the spirit. Pastor Miller would say diligent, but I'm going to say being diligent because that means being consistent. Be consistent, praying. Be consistent, believing. Be consistent, listen to the man of God. Be consistent, follow instruction. Tell us something we don't like doing. Most people in here, I'm going to check on myself. I like following instructions, right? The only thing that kept, kept me out of hell thus far is to follow instructions. What it comes from, what it comes from, you know, my, my queen, who gets instructions from the past murder? I'm not going to say, I can't say nothing, man. I'm not saying anything to this woman, man. She, she go right to, to the, 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 the possible very conscious of oh, two seconds. Hold on a second. What you doing? It's just like, but, 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 it's, but I praise God for it, right? Right? I praise God for it because my wife wasn't that strong when I first met her. She was, well, I'm going to praise her. She probably was strong. She was probably trying to hide that person. She was probably trying to hide it from me. Because the person was like the FBI. So, listen, my wife was like Magna P.I. Kate and Lacey. Like, when I, when, I, when I didn't want to be relational, my wife got very relational. Like, one thing she found out every single thing I thought I was doing, I'm so stupid. Listen, I'm, I'm, so, I'm so stupid. I thought I was trying to hide everything. Like, are you, this woman found out every secret 
Like she was like she was in the Bible. Like she was in the Bible. Like she was somebody a, a missing scripture. She was let's just go find that thing out. Okay. So I'm like and still say So what you go to like, what you what you talking about? So I did all of that. So y'all, what y'all don't know is what Brother Lane used to be. So I'm going to stress right away what it used to be, right? But my wife was like, man, I'm a I'm not for real. Like, can figure everything out. But the only reason, only reason she did was she sat up on the, she sat up on the, sat up on the right toolage when she got some earth. That means she ate and breathed what he said while she came to church. You know, she's cleaning this up a long time ago. You know, she still, got, she still do the, the, the face cloth or whatnot. I think they make my face on the power, and I didn't take I didn't take one thing and put it up, up, up in my pillow night. But uh, but the things that my wife used to figure out, man, I thought I'm like I, I was good. I'm a, I'm a good guy in the car business. I thought I was a pretty good guy in the car business. But this I'm gonna figure stuff out before I can get to this. Like she got me out. I'm like I'm please, I'm done. And I said, well, I, I, listen, be saved. I'm saying I'm saved. I'm saying I'm saved. I'm, saying, I'm, saying, I'm, saying, I'm in church. I'm in church, like, being addicted to church, and still trying to lie and get home, and she didn't figure it out, and she didn't figure it out, she didn't figure it out, so I get home, and she didn't figure it out, and she ain't talking to me, I'm like, why is she talking to me, I'm like, she gonna figure something out, there we go, like, then I get an email, not an email, but a text the next day, like a, a broken text message, text I find something out about this, or she'll, or she'll say a phrase, that I use a phrase on, on other female, she'll say that phrase to me, what the world? And listen, that listen, fellas, that means that means you need call, right? But but the only the only, way, only way I could I could really come to my senses, right? All I came to my senses was 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 talking to Pastor Murray. Because one thing about me, I can promise you, I can tell you right now, I'm never too powerful to say what I'm, what I'm wrong. It's just never, 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 never gonna be. If it comes to me and me standing up to somebody and says, say, you know, I'm, I think I, I thought I was big and bad enough to, to do it, but if, being honest. I had to be honest with my sister Kim, Pastor Zell, my mom, um, and then Pastor Murray. But, but being honest helped, helped break me, right? It helped break me. Part of being in this kingdom, you have to be broken, right? And sometimes you've been broken more than one time. Like I feel like I've been broken again, again, right? But as long as I get delivered, right, and I get free of the Holy Ghost, that's all I'm after. That's my goal. The other thing is like getting money is gonna be really easy for me. Getting money for me is very easy. It really is. Like me being a closer car to you, being a community of money, being a the the, the wind to my start based on a space conversation, that's how Pastor Mary turned me on a long time ago. I've been on know how to do that. But being totally powerful in having a human chance that doing it doing doing this power, I done put it on my iPad. I need that. That's what I need. That's what I need. So Back to being trying to be slick, man. You, 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 listen, if you marry the right one, you can't be slick. Because they will figure you out. I promise they'll figure it out. She, she might got trained by Sister Kim, too. Sister Kim will see, see her. and Lacey. Right there. Both of them. Um, so I talk about, you know, being a, being a film with everybody, right? And being just too transparent. We use them in the carpet's lot. We're going to be transparent with these contracts, Mr. James Allen. So, but being transparent, being transparent, Holy Ghost is, is trusting somebody, trusting somebody else who's not you. You see what I'm saying? Trusting, trusting another. Listen, man, listen, listen. It's hard to trust another man. Like, listen, Pastor right here. One time I was so crazy that Pastor Murray likes him. I'm just, I come, I come, I come from what? I'm talking about fire red man, ready, crazy. Oh no, no, he's a, 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 he's that I didn't understand that I was doing wrong, and I'm accusing everybody else. I'm the one who's doing wrong. I'm going crazy. I'm like, I ain't gonna matter. I'm crazy. I'm, I'm the one doing wrong and mad at everybody else. That's how most of us uh, people in the ministry are, right? We hear a good word, we get mad at the word that we heard good, and we put our own words, and we 
It's like busting soap opera. We change the narrative of the soap opera. Well, this is gonna happen next week on this episode. So the word says we change our whole episode. We want we want to be able to work with a God. We change it for our own our own on this on our own devices, right? We change it. Well, he comes up with and say that he said this right here. He didn't really say that. He said this right now. He said this. Go into the tape. You see what I'm saying? So some things that so, some things that some before I came y'all tonight to talk about that, and I'm trying to talk about business last. I want to talk about you know money, you know, because you know, Sister Dancing, you know, I, I, I love Sister Dancing. She's like a, the, the uh, like an ex extension of my, of my auntie's name from the Harvey family. That's my mama's side. I mean, they slap you upside your head, right? When you get some mom. But she always told me you always talk about money, and sometimes I said money it it messes with our mind because we don't obtain it. But part of this new movement of the God, we're gonna need some money. I'm going to just be real with y'all. You're going to need some funds. Green stems, cabbages, you're going to need it. And how you're going to get it is, as I said first, I said first, I talked about the four investments. And I'm going to get the way. The first one, invest in God first. And that ain't about money. It's like getting your heart right with God first, right? The second one is my favorite one. It's tithes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, I, got, I, I didn't even use my nose, man. That's, that's crazy. Um, but investing in ties, right, is really crucial. I think in a person they truth right now. Because if you hold, if you're you gonna withhold stuff from God, I'm talking. It's, it's just ten percent. It ain't a whole bunch of money, right? It's not a whole bunch of money. Just ten percent. He give you ninety percent, right? Never, never leave that second investment. Invest in times. Never. I'll tell you one thing, I'll tell you one thing that's, been, that's been really pivotal in my life, and right now as well, is not missing times no matter what anything comes up. Just don't believe it. Just don't believe, I just don't believe it. I can't even touch it at work. If I, if I, if I, if, if the 15th hour on a certain day, and I'm at work, I'm telling you, how am I get to get my queen? Let's go, my queen over there, right to the left hour there. She says, this morning, um, what's gonna be what's gonna be a tithe offering? I said, I ain't been to church. Yet. I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it today. This morning, okay then. We are quick with that. The third investment, offering. Y'all know because y'all heard Pastor Will talk a long time ago about matching your tithes with your offering. I know that makes some people sweat. I'll be honest, it make me sweat a lot because I make some I pay some serious tithes. Supposed to. But what I love from is I watch the fruit that's happening in their lives, right? When I say when I say start starting off small, teach you to be thankful, watching him go from being the guy the guy came in this this Sunday. Got a Rick. Got a Rick, right? Rick Ricky, Rick. Am I right? The guy who put him in detail, right? Put him in detail. Well, but he thought it could be he was a he was a doorman. God was doorman. He just used Rick as a vessel. But look at look at Pastor right now. We got too much business to do. We got too much work to do. He hired people from everywhere, from Alabama, Texas. He hired people. He can't be hired on the detail code he's trying to hire. But also, the flip side of that is look at Sister Kim. This Javanese. You know, like, that's Japanese? I try to feel who they are. That's Japanese. But I, I call it Javanese. That's Japanese. But look at all, look all this, this, this design this, this woman's doing. It's not all small. It's not it's in the, the old. Even when you mention church, family, family, and friends, family and friends, and everybody over there, it started over there. Clothes right, right, clothes right, right beside each other. Can't hold a move. This on this section, the section right here is a stand right there. But you look at now, once you go online, have these women on stage. All of those have been small seeds, right? That's transformed people in town. This, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna give them, I'm gonna give them, give them some flowers before I get out of here. But that's all came from listen to the man of God first. Start small. It's a big start small. I'm on, I'm on three. I, I was on three right top of offering, right? The last one. Last investment. It's plant it's planting stuff in the earth. Because I'm not gonna forget about this money deal. Not to forget about. And what I'm saying, when you say plant plant in the earth, I'm just gonna read something here. Let me tell you. I hadn't read nothing. Man, I can't believe I had read nothing. That's crazy. Um well actually not crazy, I praise God. 
Um, this has been this has been uh, this has been trying right here. This has been this has been uh, trying t- tonight. Uh, I thank y'all for your patience. Thank you for letting me come and speak at this ministry, uh, the new ministry here. Uh, I appreciate that. Uh, we thank you. Um, so, um, but let me get, let me get that real quick. I don't. I was saying that it, it, see the, the image. Right? You can't. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Last thing to talk about. I talk about investing. Invest in the earth, right? Blessing the way that it is pictured in Malachi and other places in the Old Testament it has an image of rainfall on crops and causing the world. It's not the money that God manufactures the rain down on you. If there's nothing planted, then the blessings never fall. Make sense? I, can I read that slower? Not read too fast? It is not money that God manufactures to rain down on you. If there's nothing planted, then the blessing is nothing fall. So you can be, you can be a tithe, a tithe pay all you want to. You can be a, a, a first fruit offering. If you end up planting it, anything else will grow. I'm just, it's, that's a fact. Okay. Now you get some blessings. You get some blessings. You get some blessings. You know, stuff that may happen in the car business, man, it's crazy. Like I was telling him before we came in about not moving my feet. Cause I don't know if you're like, I'm like the like the, uh, the them two uh, them two ducks was on the cartoon, Pickle Jekyll, the little black crow ducks that moved. They, I was like, damn, I want to move my feet. When I when I when I tired of something, I want to move my feet. But and not listen to and let, well, I won't listen to the gospel story. It it made me stop to hear a different word, right? So I'll leave you with this one here. It's okay to, um, it's okay to, to have your own mentality. It's okay to have your own mindset. Just make sure that it's lined up with the Word of God. Amen. Amen.